No, I told you, Mr. Smith, I'm WFMMH today. Work from my mom's home. You're being so chuggy. Oh, for the work dinner, I actually do have some dietary restrictions. Um, nuts, both tree and male. Down with the patriarchy. Gluten, uh, also pescatarian. And no, presbyterians. I have religious drama. Also, make sure my chicken's dark meat. I think the biggest issue is the client has no Riz. What do you mean you know what Riz is? He, he, they, like, they can't play for the Memphis Rizzlies. They couldn't save the Riz Carlton. They didn't celebrate Rizmas. I don't understand what's so difficult to understand. You know what I find completely intolerable? Companies who didn't honor MLK this week. Yeah, and what my body finds completely intolerable is MILK. Welcome back to the Rizziest podcast on the planet. <laughs> Not Chugi, dude. Top top level Riz Master is here. Uh huh. We're one of the top comedy podcasts, I think. But yeah, I'll go with that. And but top five in Riz. We are. I just checked uh, Chartable.com, and there's a Riz category, mm -hmm. and we were number two. Yeah. Uh, I love these words, man. We need our own word. Remember that? Uh, the real OGs know we had a spinoff podcast during COVID because we were like, hey, we have nothing else to do. Let's make ten podcasts a week. <laughs> and we we said this is. Uh, you came up with our Desi. Yeah, it was Do Less God Bless podcast. And for some reason I said Desi, and people so, really clung to it. Desi is podcast. If you're Desi, let us know in the comments. And enjoy today's episode. Uh, roll that music. Correct opinions. Correct opinions. Correct opinions. This episode is brought to you by Better Help. Oh, Jake, you have a great looking mind, man. I wonder why. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Doctors are always, you know, hitting me up like, hey, can we cut in to your brain? We want to look at it. Your brain's important, right? <laughs> yeah. Better help can help you with those mental therapy is a great tool to help you better understand or go through things you're working out in your mind, you know, being overwhelmed, whatever. And working with a therapist can really help. And better help can help. They're changing the game with therapy. Yes, it can. <laughs> yeah. It's convenient. It's flexible. It's affordable and entirely online. I've done therapy. It really helped me. I believe in it. Y'all should try it. Um, so if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash correct today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. BetterHelp.com slash correct. That's right. We're back. Correct opinions. No Katie today. No Katie. Um, I'm not sure if I'll ever see her again. She's got, in a better place. We got into it. Oh. <laughs> home. She's home. Home. Oh, yeah. She's in a better place. She, uh, yeah, I don't know. She woke, she woke up, said she was all nauseous and stuff. I don't know what her deal is. Huh, Maybe she ate randomly? something. Yeah. <laughs> Random. Shellfish. Shellfish. Something like that. So hope she's doing okay. Thoughts and prayers. Uh, but we'll, we'll carry it for, no, she's, we're like a month away from the baby and, uh, I guess she's been feeling great. Whatever, whatever happened this morning, I was like, you just want to get out of work and don't you? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Do you want a her. podcast? You don't want to see Jake today. I actually did say that and she did chuckle. That's, that's a fun time. I don't know if, uh, you know, you're about to get married, Jake. That's a fun time with your, with your gal where that moment where you throw out a joke and you could tell she's in a place where it's a real roll of the dice. This is this she could <laughs> chuckle and you could improve the situation, yeah. or you could start to see the eyes well up. And mm -hmm. go, oh, okay, it's that bad. With no, not a joking time. <laughs> yeah, it's that is fun. kind of fun. It's like, mm -hmm. all right, I'm in the car with Rachel. She's missed two exits in a row, and she's about to miss the third one. Do I go for a sarcastic comment that is funny, but it mentions that she's missed two exits in a row? It's like this could go That's either way. Yeah. Go, wow, are we going for a Guinness World Record of missed <laughs> yeah. exits? And she'd go, huh, I know, I saw her. She'd be like, are you seriously going to talk about it? And you're like, ah. <laughs> Dang it. It's, Dang it. I really appreciate it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'll tell you something I learned this week, which I might make a, a bit about. It's just like, yeah, this is a guy. I just, I'm learning constantly being with a woman. I learned about hair a lot this week. Oh, they um, have a lot of it. Not so much body hair. Haven't learned about, that's on the to-do list to learn about that. But like head hair. Um, so Rachel just very naturally has um, just... Her hair is on the thinner side. It doesn't grow uh, very easily um, or very thick. And so she's very protective of her hair. So she goes to get a trim because we had engagement photos this weekend. And she tells the girl like, hey, I just want like two to three inches trimmed off the bottom. It's just like dead. It's unhealthy hair. The hairdresser's like, great, awesome. And then just kind of calls a quick Omaha at the line of scrimmage and just gives Rachel layers, Ooh. I guess, which is cut off a ton oh, of I'm hair. Familiar. I'm familiar. Okay, yeah. You've been mm. married for years, you know. 
Oh, I yeah. didn't really understand the situation at first. Like, cool, like, layers. Oh, fun. Like an onion? Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's why I love you, babe. You're so complex. And... I think it looks great. That's kind of... Switch it up. Mm-hmm. It's kind of fun. It's like the... You know, like a magic trick. They yeah. had you over here, and then they got you. Yeah. And, and she's uh, like, no, it'll take me a decade to regrow yeah. this. It's like she's, an oak tree. <laughs> yeah. Just you don't understand. All branches. Yeah, she was like, well, just so you know, like... This is going to affect my wedding hair. Like my hair grows back so slowly that like this is not the hair I wanted on my wedding day. Mm. I was like, "Have oh. you? Yeah, have you experienced this? Or Derek, have you? Um, you're not living with Rachel yet, so maybe not. It's, uh, all the moms cheer. What a good boy. <laughs> they uh, Ray Romano had a great bit about this, and I've thought this when I first living with her. I would go in like the the our bathroom trash can, and there'd be a big bundle yes. of like gross looking hair, and I was like. What? Where did that come off her body? <laughs> um, but uh, you know this, Derek. All yeah, the girls oh, are naughty. Works, it's yeah. it's the brush, what the brush collects. They clean that out every now and then. And Ray Ron has a great bit where he's like, "Babe, did you shave your downstairs?" She's like, <laughs> "You've seen me," like, and he's like, "I didn't think that through. I didn't think it through." She's like, "Do you think I'm dying it? That's not even the color of." <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's great. But I, I remember when I first saw that, I was like, "What part of the body did that come off?" I don't even. <laughs> From the hairbrush. I've seen Rachel learn things here on the pod. pick out the brush. And even that process is gross to me. Oh, yeah. Just like picking well, at your own like hair that's removed from like your a head. cat. Yeah. <laughs> I swear Katie licked it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like that. So I'm, I'm glad Katie can laugh at herself because she had a, again, the pregnancy's been pretty good. She's had She hasn't had many hormonal moments, but Saturday, man, was an all-time record. She oh, just, no. She... And we laugh. By Sunday, we were cracking up about it. But five different times on Saturday, she communicated to me in various ways that she doesn't think I like her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, it, it was like the it was a couple hours. I was like, okay, well, that's a silly thing to say, but okay. And then later on that night, I was like, man, we're just we just have to sleep this one off. <laughs> and we were in bed at like one in the morning, and she just she was kind of tossed turn, and she just would bring up something else. I was like. Katie, I promise. I I just think I really think in the morning this I, is this isn't your day. Can, this is please, and I'm exhausted. Like, can we go to sleep? See you in the morning. And she's oh. and then she's like, you seriously don't. And I remember just going like I was begging. I was like, Katie, please, <laughs> just, please go to sleep. I promise. I think I know you well enough. Just go to sleep. Just. Sleep. She woke up the next day just smiling and giggling like really. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That's was amazing. Fun Good one. for you for having the patience and just knowledge. I guess over a few years and knowing Katie, just like. <laughs> Uh, it's not even worth talking about. It's just going to magically be better in the morning. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. And because, I mean, I go through it less intense pregnancy. It's more intense, I'm sure, when you're pregnant. But sometimes you have those days. You're like, I just need to sleep this one off. I know. I'll be We've fine. all had that. Yeah. yeah. Later. Uh, so, yeah. Thoughts and prayers, Katie. She's doing fine. I even I was like, could I even call you? Because there's like a, there's a couple fan comments I want to react to. And she <laughs> goes, um, she loves to update me, too. She's like, yeah. just puked for the third time. Okay. Like, okay. I know that sucks, but. Uh, so she's like, no, I can't even I'm like, so she's got a, she got the day off. She's chilling. So we do have some videos and comments from fans. Um, who, Derek, who we got? My name's Joe, uh, from London, UK, Hey, uh, not Idaho. And, uh, I just wanted oh, to UK. say, uh, I think you guys are amazing. Trent, Katie, Jake, and Mr. Family Man himself. You guys are great. Right. I only started listening to the show about a week ago. I've just been going back through all he's, the episodes. That's why. Um, he's learning. Really, really enjoying <laughs> having a laugh. Um, I noticed you also you wanted uh, you, you made a shout out for a UK ambassador. Um, I'm happy to put my name forward. Uh, hopefully, I'm a bit more consistent than uh, than our prime ministers at the moment. Uh, but yeah, really, really enjoying the show. And th- let's go, dude. I like that he cut UK. himself off. Yeah, that's good. It's good to have one. I might have cut him off. Uh, what's Derek, the family politician man? What's going on with the prime ministers? Yeah, I didn't get oh, that joke. You know, oh, is it kind of like <laughs> Epstein clue. Islandy stuff? Oh, you don't know. Okay. Well, shout out. Well, that's why we need to listen. We need to hear them. UK we know what's ambassador. Going on. Yeah. Uh, I know everyone likes. It's nice to know they like to make fun of their politicians too. That's just a nice rite of passage. Yeah, I like just. Yeah, we need them for what we were very curious about the the royal family. So we need knowledge from you mm-hmm. when it comes to that. And just like I would like to talk more like British people. He said uh, I've been having a laugh. I like the way he said that. I know. Mm-hmm. Not I've been laughing. That's been cracking me up. I've been having a laugh. Thanks, bruv. Hmm. Yeah, I love that. It, 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 I just always go to Harry Potter. Okay. And which I, you know, who doesn't like Hogwarts? <laughs> so Hogwarts. Th- thank you. Thank you, dude. Um, 
Thanks, bro. Yeah, I think you said you just listened to like a week. So yeah, how that happen? I don't know how you found us, but thanks. Glad you're here. And uh, all the other rectees could learn a thing or two. This guy's been listed for a week. He's already sitting in videos. That's right. Sitting in your videos. So where are the rest of you guys Instagram. at? We want to be friends. All right. So thank you. Our fr- uh, what do you say? Landon? Is that his name? Landon? I think they've had really short prime ministers. That's what I remember. Oh, so yeah. That, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm shorter. Took me a minute. Like uh, shorter in height or like in <laughs> sentence? All of it. Okay. Uh, I don't it's know. Temper. <laughs> he, so thanks, dude. And. Uh, Thanks for finding the pod. And I'm sure people will send, everyone will say he looks like me, which is, I'm getting tired of, but he's, he looks good to me. So, uh, all right. Who else we got? Recti's in the house. Send in your videos, guys. Let's be friends. I love last week's episode. It had me laughing out loud while I was working. People and I just want to say, I also felt personally victimized by that video of vintage baby names because we are due in June and we're naming our son Theo, short for Theodore. So you'll have to tell me if that is a crazy white baby name. And also, um, Katie, I never felt so seen than when you said you have a fear of your voice being too quiet if you had to scream. <laughs> um, I totally had that same fear. My voice tends to blend in and I think that it would crack if I tried to scream too loud. <laughs> Um, also, I just wanted to ask Katie how she was feeling, getting closer to having her first She's kid. She's puking. Um, since we are too. <laughs> Don't bring it up. And just see how y'all are feeling with that coming up so soon. Thank you very much. Bad episode for Katie to miss. I know. Uh, there's actually uh, there's actually a couple more messages. Everyone's just like, how's Katie's baby? It's like, all right, you know what? She didn't even have it yet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I we're here. We're going through things. <laughs> I ate a ton of chili this weekend. That hurt. Yes. I had to eat fish. <laughs> So, thank you for saying that. Um, Both yeah, my people, girls' names were on there, and then one right. of our future baby names was on there. So, mm. I, I too felt victimized. Dang. I think Theodore is uh, becoming very popular. I, don't, I think, I, you know, Theodore, I don't have an issue with. Theodore is great. I think it's, it's a nice, strong name. Theo gets a little wimpier, I think, once mm-hmm. you lose the R. Dwight Trude said that. So, I call it murder, not muck duck. But <laughs> Theo is still fine. Yeah. Um, just if, if you shorten it too much, you go to The. Now we got a problem. Agreed. But Theo is fine. Yeah. It, it's like the power of syllables. Three <laughs> syllables is good. How our name. Yeah. Yeah. If you were Jacob, dude, I'd have been intimidated to ever be around you. Yeah. So, you know, you have to find that balance. And uh, yeah, thanks for asking. Katie's ultimately doing great. I'll pass that along. And uh, yeah, the voice, soft spoken gal. She, you could tell. That She's going to have trouble pleasant. screaming. Yeah. I love how she said, if I, if I, if my if I screamed, it would crack. It like that would be embarrassing. Like she's getting mugged, and she's like, "Help!" Like, oh my gosh! Mo- Robert's like, "Did your voice just crack?" <laughs> <It's> <laughs> super embarrassing. <laughs> Strengthen your vocal. No cords. one's gonna help some loser. Her voice is cracked. It's it's a good fear. Some people's voice they just can't. Which I will say is better than the opposite. Do you know anyone whose voice is just naturally so loud? Yeah. You're like what? You're ye- you're just yelling, man. I have an exact friend in mind. He it's is, right in my head. I know who it is. He's awesome in every area, but he is a loud talker. That's his one flaw, and it's just it's hard. You tell they get excited and it just starts screaming, <laughs> and it really irritates me. But uh, more so than when how I don't know if our our great listener there, if your husband has to say what was that nineteen times a day. Um, I haven't gotten used to it, by the way. It still annoys <laughs> me, but that's marriage. I annoy her too. What was I, that? One more time? Excuse me? Oh, I, I said, I don't think you like me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, one more time? I'm, I'm kind of confused. Like, when we were shooting the our Dude Dad collab, shout out Dude Dad, if you haven't seen that video, with uh, Katie reacting to our video making fun of her pregnancy. She, mm-hmm. they, We were just filming, and they were like, um, is there something wrong with Katie's mic? <laughs> we're hardly hearing her. And she just goes, is this better? Just spoke. Like, yeah. Better. They're like, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. But some people's voice, some people's natural vocals, they just can't do it. That's too bad. That's fine. Yeah, but that was fun. Thanks for sending that video. That's hilarious. Just Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, send it in. Correct Pins Instagram. Holler at us. Thanks for all the comments on the YouTube channel. People saying that it was one of their favorite episodes ever. Um, so thanks. It was fun. That is fun. It's nice that. Uh, yeah, it's too bad we're missing Katie today, but we'll still make it fun as good as we can. Uh, you said Katie's been updating you a lot. I think yeah. I wouldn't like it if, if she started to get too specific. Like, I threw up again. Okay, I can have sympathy for you. But it's like, 
ah, it's green and chunky now. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, that's probably too much. Yeah, it was like it was like baby spit up. And now it's solidifying. <laughs> like, uh, like old guac. Oh. She, uh, <laughs> do you? Uh, how do you get? How do you do sick? I don't know if this counts as sick, but just this weekend, Rachel was uh, kind of edifying me. So I, it, I spent all weekend in Florida. It was crazy windy, and um, I was out on the on the beach one night. And I got some. Or on the golf course. But either way, I got something in my eye. Of course, I go to scratch it. Made the wrong move. I, I scratch my cornea. I don't know if you've ever done that. It's a pretty just like annoying little injury. Not really oh. painful, but it's every time you blink, it feels like something is just kind of in your eye. That's worse just, than pregnancy, I would say. <laughs> it's just a constant reminder of like, this is frustrating. This is frustrating. This is annoying. How long every does it time last? you blink. For I mean, I still kind of feel it. It's in there. So anyway, it's kind of an annoying thing. But I just kind of Rachel would ask me like once a day. How does it feel? I'm like, it's still annoying. She's like, that is impressive that you don't complain about that constantly. Wow, She's okay. like, I would just be, I would be telling everyone. I know. Some men, I, I, I feel like I don't do the men cold thing. I take pride in being like, Same. I'm going to just, I'm going to, I've switched, flip, maybe I did at one point, but I flipped a switch where if I get sick, I just don't, I'm just going to basically tell myself I'm not sick. Yeah. I'll show up to a party with 102 degree temperature. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll just, I'll just be miserable. But I'm like, uh, we did a big, uh, my favorite one of my favorite weekends of the year, Oklahoma State tailgate, I was definitely very ill for. And I had to like take a 30 minute break and just sit there and not talk and like nearly fell asleep. But I was just like, I'm not sick. I'm not sick. I'm having fun. <laughs> that it was kind of worked. That was my strategy during COVID. I would look myself in the mirror and I would say, You will not get COVID. You will not. You will not. You are not going to get it. You can't smell anything. That's just a coincidence. <laughs> you don't have it. So, well, yeah, some... I'm very prideful about that as well. I'm not going to be the. The guy who gets like a wimpy when he's sick. I think men and women get sick different. Where men, a lot of men, I've been wimpy before, and women are tougher than people give them credit for. But men, it's still a details game. Men, I can my I can my Katie will be like something's wrong, right? But I'm not really sharing it. She'll she'll wake me up and be like, "Hey, good morning." At three a.m., I got up, very nauseous, couldn't sleep. Three to five a.m., didn't sleep. Finally, thirty minutes sleep. Woke up at five thirty, puked a little. She's like keeping back a, in bed at five. A captain's log. Yeah, she's like, look, I wrote it down. Look, I was like, okay, okay that I don't know. That sucks. Thanks for like I can wake up and puke and just like a week later be like, oh yeah, I forgot she, to tell you. I she like discovered it on the toilet seat. Like, what happened? <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I puked a week ago. Yeah, it was terrible. You know, I just didn't. I kind of forgot. I think Family Man, on the other hand, you were saying you definitely lean into the sicky, oh. sicky, cold Derek Nita yeah, tissue. Yeah, like in the fetal position, scratch my back, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what's different, too, because I feel like Katie, your wives, they kind of like it, too, where I'll, I'm like, this, she wants, she feels so bad for me, she wants to wait on my hand and foot? Sure. So I'll just lay there and be like, I need, I need a refill, I need, <laughs> a refill. could you go get, Can I get a refill on my, on my chili, <laughs> on my burger? The person who uh, gives me the best sympathy is my mother-in-law, actually. Ooh, oh, so, okay. If I'm like, I'm not feeling well, she goes all out. And- all out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure, dude. Though, growing up, a little sick, my mom's going straight to Panera, bread bowl soup. Ooh. Ooh. Just dive in, scrape the sides, get that bread. <laughs> <laughs> So I've milked it for sure. So that's something to be said. Is it men's fault or is it the ladies' fault? Are you guys too nice? You're too, too yeah, willing caring? to offer your sympathy. Too caring. Yeah, too caring. And we aren't caring enough, so that's why they have to keep a log <laughs> to inform us. Like, this is how sick I am. I don't feel like you're really figuring this out here. I haven't had a woman in my life for most of my adulthood, so I haven't really had the opportunity to be given the sympathy. Now I need to take full advantage. Mm, no, you do. I'd be you do. sick all the time. When we were long distance dating, I I had a an illness, and she like postmated Gatorade to the door and this. Wow, like, oh, wow, a little long distance care. That's not bad. <laughs> it's not, it's bad. not the flavor I like, but it was a nice, <laughs> yeah. nice, nice thought. Usually, go I go cool blue typically. Cool blue is if I'm sick. Yellow is if I'm actually playing a sport. So got that wrong. That's actually how it works. That is. So yeah. I, every guy knows. Cool Yellow blue, when you're dude. when you're actually sweating. Cool blue is like a warm hug. Yeah, cool yeah. blue is like, hey, take a little, take a little something, something off. It's nighttime. It's morning. Or just whenever. You got to get the baby bottle one. The baby bottle, cool blue. Baby bottle. You twist it. Oh, I know what you're talking. Oh, about. <laughs> nothing better when you're sick. The cool blue baby. The nipple one. The nipple yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly. What Gatorade you're was about. ahead of their time with that. Which that is fascinating because I think the last time I got one of those from like a gas station, it didn't have like packaging on top so it's like how many hands is this touch like i'm putting my mouth directly on it oh you know like where does this come from oh so many grown men were fiending just getting us up 
<laughs> Kept walking. Do they still make those bottles? I sure hope so. Yeah, 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 they do. But they're just not a package on the top anymore. So go at your own risk. Okay. <laughs> if you want a, a third booster, you go get the nipple Gatorade bottles. I'll give you some antibodies. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, right. Those are funny. Clip, clip those, Derek. You're talking about Gatorade bottles and the <laughs> men and women's sickness. That's good. Uh, let's dress the elephant in the room. I don't have a beard right now. That's right. Is that upsetting people? I thought you were trying to look more like Landon. Uh, maybe. A bit wonky. A bit, just a bit. You look like a wee little lad. Yeah, people are having a laugh at you. It's nice to look younger, I guess, but... Uh, yeah, well, we did it. We did a fun bit about making fun of mustaches. You had to be a mustache guy. You also had to be Ted Lasso last week. Mm -hmm. So I think for being Ted Lasso five days ago, you look pretty good. Thank you. Everyone hey, keep um, that in mind. Yeah, stay tuned for that bit. I... I also, it's tough because I say this because we're always shooting content. So I have like, you know, we'll shoot for some brand like, hey, we need to reshoot this. So I can, I'm always nervous to do any kind of significant changes. So I, I we didn't have, all that was wrapped up and it felt like there was a lull. So, and I had the bit, I had a lot of excuses. Because sometimes every guy who's ever had facial hair, you mess with it. Mm -hmm. I was done with it. But then you take it off and you look at your face and you're like, wish I could put it back on. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> There's that, every man with a beard knows this. You have this weird line in your head. You're like, you know what? I'm going to reveal this chiseled jaw. It's I about time. I forgot I used to look like Paul Walker. And then you shave it off. You're like, well, maybe the beard was helping. The beard was doing me a couple favors, actually. It gave me a jawline. Um, so, but it's growing back. I mean, by next week, you won't even know. It'll be back. It grows, unlike Rachel. I Thank God. Yeah, she it can't print some genetic thing. Her, her facial hair probably takes a long time. <laughs> yeah. If that hairdresser would have shaved off her mustache, she would have really been mad. <laughs> been growing this out. Yeah. yeah, no, that makes sense, though. With the brand work, you can't do anything. You guys don't know. The second that Trey stops doing influencer work and stops getting brand deals, he's been dying to dye his hair pink. He just can't mm, because of the brand deals. Ugh. He wants to so bad, Very brand though. safe. Yeah. T face tattoo. He's like, what if DraftKings needs me to reshoot something? I need to still have brown hair. Right. So... The whole thing. Looking forward to that one day. Um, this episode is brought to you by Better Help. Oh, new year, new me. How about you? Uh, it is a new year, and it is also a new... Yeah, same. Okay, great. <laughs> well, um, I'm trying... As like with everyone, I'm trying to get better, trying to do my thing. And part of that is mentally. Uh, and through therapy, Better Help mm. is changing the game. They can help you with just that. I've talked about it before. My roommate, my good friend Luke, he's used better help. He has nothing but good things to say about it. If you're even thinking about, you know, taking control of your mental health, look into better help and use our discount code. That's right. Uh with a kid on the way, tour on the way, you know, I need to make sure my mentals are good. So therapy is great. I recommend it. Y'all try better help today. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash correct today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp help.com -E slash correct. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Convenient, flexible, affordable, entirely online. Betterhelp.com slash correct. Oh, I was looking at our notes. We speaking of the fire Gatorades at the gas stations. Um, we were arguing earlier. I grew up, I think the gas station phenomenon is very interesting. I grew up in Oklahoma City. Um, and if you're Oklahoma people, you know, 7-Eleven and Quick Trip, like where their divide is Oklahoma City to Tulsa. 7-Eleven mm. can't go into Tulsa, vice versa. So growing up, I'd meet people from Tulsa and be like, dude, Quick Trip's the best, 7-Eleven's the best. I grew up on those ices. Walking to 7-Eleven from school, I was right down the down the block getting those fire ICs. Yeah. Oh, there was nothing like it. Getting the dollar single flower for my love interest <laughs> and an icy. You were buying. Yes, sir. Buying flowers from a gas station in high school. <laughs> yeah, dude. Cool. Seven Eleven would see a single flower for like a dollar or two. Smart. I can't afford a twenty dollar bouquet. <laughs> Forget that. Smart business. Anytime you can sell anything for a dollar, it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Move a lot of products. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like 7-Eleven. People big on the quick trip. It is. It's, it's gas stations are very geogra geographically based. Texas, you got Bucky's. People, if it's just huge, people like it. Yeah, is Bucky's good or is it just big? It's just big. Is it? Just That's big? what I think. I mean, it's like, yeah. Look, we have fifty six gas pumps. Do you need fifty six gas pumps? No, no. <laughs> My second point is no. Yeah, it's kind of like it's like Justin Bieber. Like it has his elements, but is he at this point? Is he just too big to fail? <laughs> is he is he still putting out great stuff? I don't, 
It's an argument. Yeah, he's just having songs just written for him. He's just signing his name. Just, yeah, I'll sing this. Bucky's, it's just, why do, I don't need my gas station to also sell, you know, taxidermy. <laughs> I, I just need gas and a nice Gatorade. Yeah. Maybe some flowers. And uh, flowers by the one. <laughs> Please. I So Bucky's, it's, it's impressive not living there because it's like, oh, this is kind of a novelty. It's like going to In-N-Out or a crumble cookie. It's like, oh, I'll do this because I'm on vacation. But if you live in Texas, let me know. If you live in Texas, is Bucky's your stop for gasoline? Can't be. It seems like more of a tourist attraction. Right. What'd you grow up with? So I grew up with, uh, it was get and go until, I don't know, the year 2001 or so. I don't know. It seems like for a while it was get and go, Mm G-I-T, in, go. And then it switched to come and go, (laughs) K-U-M, in yeah well what are they go. trying to do here <laughs> i don't it's know like we gotta make some headlines here i don't know i don't know about the k i don't know about the come but i it was come and go and it was that was the, the thing though that was like the biggest nicest most popular gas station like the springfield area growing up so casey's people from the north they know that they love their Casey's. the breakfast pizza how about this oh we're rated i don't I don't know if Ooh. I need. Yeah, Iowa fans are not going to be happy. About oh, that. I know. <laughs> hey, I love Iowa. Great. I'll pop into Casey's for some things, but the breakfast pizza. I don't know, man. I don't know if I need that combo. Here's what I've learned about dating in Iowa for a year and a half now. Is Regardless of where you stand, now? what do you say? She, Rachel's going to kill me now. Oh, yeah. Her family. <laughs> They're all hunters. So yeah. be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. They're sharpshooters. <laughs> so watch what you're saying. Regardless of how you feel about Casey's breakfast pizza, one thing every Iowan is going to say, well, that's true is you're going to be in the bathroom about an hour later. So regardless if you think it tastes good or bad, you're That's being sent business. to the toilet. <laughs> yeah. you got to come right back to the Casey's. Well, now I feel hungry again mm-hmm. because my stomach is depleted. So you can't deny that. Is it, You're taking a bathroom visit soon. I just I would put 7-Eleven Ices above Casey's Pizza, breakfast pizza, for the staples. Staple. See, I've been living in Kansas City for, what, seven, eight years now. So now my gas station is Quick Trip. And when I first moved here, I could not believe the loyalty that people had to mm-hmm. Quick Trip. It was like it was an Apple store or something. They would drive out of their way to go to Quick Trip. I thought it was ridiculous. I see it now. They're all set up exactly the same. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. You go to Quick Trip and it feels like home. You go into the QT kitchen and get like, like a Parmesan pretzel. The, oh. the Quick Trip customer service is akin to Chick-fil-A in that yes. industry. They're, these I don't know what psychopaths they track tracked down to hire, Quick but trip. they're like, they're running three <laughs> checkouts. Yeah, 438, strike the card. Yeah, yes. have a good day. Come here, see you later. See you later. See you tomorrow. Yeah, cigarettes yeah, right day. here. Cigarette. Yeah, no yeah 718, no strike the card. Have a good one, sir. Unbelievable. I'll give Quick Trip that. I'm in they and out do. of there. It is a quick trip. They, I do think about that. Yeah. I don't know how they're getting people. It's, I'm gonna, gas stations are a beautiful thing. And I'm sad that we're moving towards electric for that reason. What, what's going to happen to the gas station? Because I think there'll be electric gas stations. Stillwater, mm-hmm. Oklahoma. College uh, town. There is this perfectly centered gas station. Shout out Valero. You ever been to a Valero? Random. Yeah. Is it like one of those? It's like a racetrack? Yeah. Like that I kind of brand? Uh, not big. But it was... I mean, I went there four times a week. That's where you go. Hey, let's walk in. Let's get a six pack. Let's bar. Let's walk in there. Grab a snack. Hey, I need a. I need a coke. Uh, whatever it was, man, it was special. Yeah. Gas stations, love. And you, you, I went to a quick trip. Was I with you or I was somewhere? I feel like it was somewhere on the road. I think we were together. We pulled into a quick trip, and there was like a block party in the parking lot. I don't remember. This. You don't remember that? Okay, <laughs> someone else. It was. It was just like. Someone had like, like their 12-year-old like, birthday party. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was kind of an opposite of that. It, they looked like terrifying people, but okay. it was just all like uh, dr- like drag racing cars and stuff. Parked oh, up, pulled up, blaring music, and they were just chilling. I was like, this is this is gas station. This, this is, is America. Community. This is America. That's what it is. Gosh. I was just in Florida this past weekend where uh, Wawa is Wawa. a big thing. Anywhere on the East Coast, I think that you have Wawa. And I got to give it to Wawa. They got a good kitchen as well. They got some good sandwiches. Wawa is actually the place where I learned, which you're going to love this. I don't know if I've said this on the podcast before, but um, uh, that is where I learned about the everything bagel. Like It's a pretty common just like <laughs> flavor. You're like, and You're like, everyone's got to get to Wawa and try this bagel. <laughs> Basically, well. I'm on like the, the kiosk on the little iPad trying to pick out like I think the the kind of spread or the sauce, you know, that I want on my uh, on my sandwich, on my cold cuts. And one of the options, you know, so it's like it's like we've got Dijon, we've got this, we've got, you know, ketchup, we got this, whatever. And at the bottom, it says everything sauce. And I thought they were giving me like a suicide. I was like, why would anyone because it, because it was at the bottom, 
I just thought it was like, or we just give you one of everything, just a squirt of everything. Just a squirt of the guy back there. Boom, 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 boom. Mixing it up. I was like, everything sauce? Who's doing this? And Rachel's like, that's it's like every it's like an everything bagel. And I was like, I don't that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know what that is. Like everything bagel, it's like this type of it's a flavor. It's, it's I was like, oh. She's like, you'd like it. Had it, loved it. Loved it. You if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know everything bagels, a good flavor of bagel. You're welcome. I was looking at the top US gas stations in America, and that this is the beauty of all the ones we're talking about. It's it's just Shell, Exxon, BP, duh. Oh. Uh, well, those are the biggest, right? But we're talking about the ones that capture capture our hearts. Mid, mid America's hearts, middle class America. Yeah, it, this is there is something to be said for if you, if you go to these locations, you have to. Part of the tourist attraction is the smaller gas stations. Yeah, yeah, I Beautiful. think so. Uh, speaking of Iowa, this a lot of you have probably seen this going around the internet, and this is just fantastic. Um, it's a husband calling competition. We all see. I think we've talked about it on correct opinions. The um, messing with the the pig calling competitions <laughs> yeah. down in Arkansas, or whatever. So, <laughs> and there's a husband calling competition. It is what it's what it sounds like. Um, you guys got to check this out. Watch this. Bob, Bob, Bob! Hurry up! I don't want to be late. Bob, <laughs> hurry, hurry! It's kind of beautiful. The clock it's like a siren call. What in the world? Daryl! <laughs> this is edited great. Ray! Can you hear me? You get yourself in here right now! Come on! That woman's so old. You know you're gonna be late again, and you know that I want to get there on time. Roy! <laughs> Roy, 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 Roy! When I first first place oh. winner, baby, right there. <laughs> Tell you what, Katie would never place on that. Neither would other listener there. <laughs> Trey. So I, 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 I had a lot of people send that to me because they know that Rachel's from Iowa. They're like, uh, surprise, Rachel didn't do this on you. And anytime I have like 40 people send me the same video. For some reason, I don't watch it, which is a bad habit. I'm just like, ah, I'll, I'll see it eventually. It's too popular. But man, was I missing out. Holy cow. I can't believe how funny that was. That is funny. That's a brilliant event. That's amazing. Because no one really wants to hear the pig calling. But let's do a little variation. Just like nag your husband professionally. <laughs> and that's a great thing to watch. I would love to know the rubric for husband calling. Interesting. A lot They're of all them. very different. Yeah. 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 The one was like a bird. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. I mean, that's different because the others kind of put the pressure on to hurry. That one, I feel like I'd be entranced, <laughs> right? Is that kind of the strategy? I don't want to be late. Yeah, she kind of a little mocking Jay going on. <laughs> is that is that the Hunger Games? <laughs> what is the Hunger Games? You're right. <laughs> ah, that was, that kind of that movie kind of came and went. Yeah. Uh, but that, that uh, a lot of them complain about, uh, we're going to be late. That's, is that typical? Cause I don't know. I feel like I, most I of the time I'm too. like, Katie, come on. S oh. You're making us late. <clears throat> is it a generational so, thing? Yeah. Generational. Every one of these girls was like, honey, you are going to be late. I feel like I am definitely the one like, Hey, so the flight will actually leave without us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just as a reminder, it's not our flight. Like, it's going to go either way. So we should probably go soon. <laughs> we need to <clears throat> probably hurry. That's so. interesting. I was just trying to find out some more info on this just really quickly. And I didn't find out too much other than I'm looking at a picture of the audience. So the it looks like the judges face the audience. They don't face the person performing. Smart. Oh. So I don't know. It's like That's kind of a, a revolutionary way to judge. Like, hey, I don't need to see there. I need to see what the people think of this. Slash, yeah, no, like your, your gestures you know, d don't get counted for you. It's like a mm. podcast. It's like audio only. Just maybe, listen to it. Yeah, I mean, it's just all male judges and they have to go to a separate room and act like they're playing video games or something. Like, let me <laughs> which, really experience which one this. one gets you out of the room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, God, if all right, I guess I gotta go. Get you to church that day, then they win the contest. We had a funny... Oh, gosh, we're so old. We had a chili cook-off over the weekend, which I'll talk oh, a little fun. bit. I'll talk a little more about later. But as always does, everyone knows this, 
big couples hangs, guys and girls, they just separate. Yeah. And I th- tell me if this is your experience. I don't know if you started to do this, Derek, where the couples hang out, guys and girls separate. And then, but when it's just a guy's only event, the girls are like, well, why aren't we invited? And yeah. then when we all separate, we're like, why? I don't know if this matters that you were here. We're not even talking to each other. <laughs> Does that happen? Yeah, there's been a couple of times where I didn't want to separate because yeah. it wasn't the biggest friends with the other, other group, but sure. you kind of had to. You don't want to be the one guy with the girl group. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I do make a point sometimes when we're like maybe a group event, everyone's sitting down to eat. I'll, sm- I'll sit smack down in a group of girls. Hey, hey, respect. we don't need to separate this. You get in there and you're like, hey, are cardigans from Target fitting weirdly? Yeah, right? <laughs> As of recently? Is anyone else noticed the husbands being a little... <laughs> <laughs> Always making us late, right? It's actually their <laughs> fault. But but we were all hanging out in the basement. Girls were upstairs, and it starts to get to the point where, like, the guys, we don't want to stop watching football. We want to keep going, but you're starting to feel the rumblings of the girls, the wives ready to go, ready yeah. to call it a day. So we just hear someone coming down the stairs. And it was like this hilarious, like, oh, whose wife is going to be? And it'd be like someone's wife. We'd be like, oh, it sucks for you. And she'd be like, are you about ready? Wow, that's funny. Can they come down like, one by one? Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty it's good. It's a great game. Um, I kind of sense my own version of that. I went golfing in Florida this past weekend with Rachel, her mom, and her grandma, just me and the ladies. Mm. And like I said, it was so windy all weekend, very cold Florida weekend. And um, yeah, it was nice of them to all go golfing together. It was really fun. But about a whole 15, I start to see another coat get thrown on and then a Hood gets thrown on. I'm like, I'm, I think they're freezing cold. I should probably just suggest <laughs> right. we leave. How about we leave? Like, and there, oh. was, there was no pushback. Yeah. You know, that's when you know. There was okay. no like, no, we can stay, Jake. It was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, they're definitely yeah, freezing good call, cold. Good call. They're not putting up a fight at all. <sighs> uh, a little bit more digging. Uh, this is from, sorry, I should have cited my sources. This is from the Des Moines Register.com. Which, yeah. Reputable. We trust them. Uh, so all participants in the husband calling contest do get a ribbon. Okay, don't know if they all deserve one. However, the <laughs> grand prize, everyone have a number in your head of what the grand prize is. Did anyone guess $5? Because that's what it is. <laughs> that's all the Iowa State Fair has to give out. $5. $5. Yeah, I guess that's enough to they also have go to Casey's. <clears throat> mom calling, hog calling, and more competitive family-friendly events. Oh, so the mom calling is not family-friendly. <laughs> I don't know what happens during that. Wow. I hey, guess, you mother. <laughs> I guess with some age, you start to maybe there's an appreciation, but like we're going to some of these early newlyweds. It's just really let us tell us how you feel. So there's more family friendly events. If the hog calling or mom calling get too out of control. That's great. Like it, it there's like a grandma edition where it's kind of like, come on, Roy, we kind of <laughs> need to get going. And there's like a mom of three edition. She's like, everything I do, I everything I do is for you. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I go to you. Just going nuts. Now, that's a funny bit. You just go to a, a husband calling contest and just get so serious. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I know about what you did at work with the secretary who you swore yeah. was just a friend. The divorce papers are on the kitchen table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll be late citing those two. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? What will I do? I can't raise this family by myself. <laughs> I can't. How am I going to find someone? I'm 43. I have three boys. They're all like you. They're all like you. (laughs) Anyway, how'd I do? How'd I do? (laughs) I want that $5. Really, use that $5. (laughs) Divorce fees piling up. Oh, that's fine. All right. Get a little too real. Uh, Mark my words. I will be at this next year. I want you guys to hold me to that. Let's say it's in August, I think. The Iowa State Fair. I will be at it next year. (laughs) And I will be uh, in the audience. I would not be competing. <laughs> yeah, if, I would. If it's if it's only a few hours from here, I would absolutely go to that. I mean, that's a great video. That's great content. That's just good content. It that's a fantastic event. Uh, okay, I saw this, and this has mixed reviews. So I'm excited to see what the recties and everyone here thinks. Uh, speaking of more outlandish performances, this is I can't get enough the wedding content. This is a bride singing at her wedding, and you're thinking, okay, we kind of did that. But oh, but not not like oh later she had a few drinks in the band like walking down the aisle. Oh, I've never seen that before. With like a Britney Spears mic. Okay, that we talked about. Watch this. Oh, 
love the bridesmaid dresses. That 16-year-old groom is regretting his decision. Okay, so lot to unpack. First and foremost, you Whoa. have to cane a tour. Sounds beautiful. She is good at singing. Oh, that helps a lot. Yeah, you she know. is good at singing. And I think it's going to be a very different conversation. Um, but then there's the argument of too good at singing. Right, yeah, you show off. Right, exactly. Yeah. There is a weird middle ground. Where like you, know, you need to be able to hit the notes, but okay. Like, what are you? Are we trying to get a record deal here? You're a little too good, maybe. Like, if people came to your comedy show and instead of performing an original song, you just did a cover. It'd be like, okay, I think he's just kind of showing off. It just, yeah. Like, <laughs> what is okay? He's just kind of, he's really hitting the high notes. He's showing us that he could sing. Uh, it's like with the guy who gets up with karaoke and sounds like that. You're like, all right, this is meant for the no, the normal folks. Okay, <laughs> go find a recording studio. Yeah, the guy at the batting cage who brings his own bat and mm-hmm. he's just like hitting dingers. It's like, all right, this is for like 11 year olds. Chill out. Um, but you know, so a lot of the views are like, wow, this is so pretty, it's beautiful. And a lot of the comments are like, what's happening here? I mean, what? There is a lot to unpack. For one, <clears throat> I, I heard one of the lyrics, which I don't know that song. Was that an original song? I don't know. I didn't recognize it, but that's okay. I didn't recognize the song. That's another, I don't know. One of the lyrics was when you're in too deep. And I feel like that just right there, I don't know the rest of the sentence, but that, I mean, the husband at that point, I'd be thinking, I do, at this moment, I feel a little in too deep. I didn't know you were going to do this. Uh, I didn't know. There's no, you know, maybe, God forbid, maybe the, the father isn't there for bad reasons, but, you know, there's a, maybe, is there no, no dad walking down the aisle? Because she's like, you know what? This is actually, I'm just going to fully take this moment. If you're going to do it with me, you have to sing bass. Mm-hmm. And he's like, excuse me? I thought I was just going to walk. <laughs> she's like no you gotta cover you gotta drag the veil behind me and do like and, the lower harmonies mm, just do it's just the yeah some bgvs <laughs> i don't know it's your wedding you do what you want but i can you imagine me at a wedding and they're like everyone's standing for the bride and they open the door the first words are look at me <laughs> <laughs> Is that a song? <laughs> yeah, she's just trying like, to look it up. Everyone standing, Ooh. looking at me. Wait, is it when I look? When you look at me, Celine Dion? No, this is a different song. It might be original. Um, that makes it worse. I just can't imagine. Like you know, we're gearing up. We're wedding planning. Up the a wedding has been on my mind a lot more. I just can't imagine like the nerves of having to perform in front of people is. <laughs> Is going on at the same time that you were like walking down the aisle, maybe seeing your husband on the, your wedding day for the first time. Like that's too much going that's what on. What we call red flag confidence. <laughs> Don't you guys know people with red flag confidence? You're just like this. A human being shouldn't be this calm. Your my wedding day. I we perform all the time in front of how many people? Mm-hmm. And uh, my wedding day, I'm nervous. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh my god, I'm gonna be standing up there for how long? Everyone's looking at me. Like, what am I doing? If they're like, hey Jay, why don't you throw a little performance in there? I'm like, no, what? So she's like, wedding day, very nervous, marrying the man, saying yes forever, walking down the aisle. Um, and I got to make sure I hit all the notes. You gotta should just, yeah, notes. you should never compound two nerve wracking things on the same time. Like when people will like, hey, at the end of my uh, show, my concert, whatever, I'm going to propose at the end of my, like sometimes professional athletes, like, hey, if we win tonight, I'm going to propose like that just seems like too much. How, Do them separately. How, how confident are you on on a stage? The, have you ever heard the people say like, "There's just honestly, when I'm on stage, I feel at home. No, no more comfortable am I than on stage." I don't feel that. Okay, I exactly. feel more comfortable like on but a if, recliner. But have you heard people say that? <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty common. Those are those are murderers and totally psychopaths. Though. A lot of the if pure, you, yeah. I know of some people. We all have those people in our lives who maybe those few examples are like, "I'm going to be a star no matter what," and it's not from like, it's from a place of like, I'm most comfortable just get, having attention at all times. That's yeah. a psychopath. I, People are shocked. I'm like, I'm yeah, I get nervous. I'm a, not a psychopath. I yeah. don't, it's, I'm not dying to be like, get me on stage in front of the thousands. Yes. <laughs> oh, I just feel so peaceful. <laughs> I mean, it's like a rush, but I, it's not relaxing. Yeah, I think we have a very he- healthy relationship with stand-up comedy because most people doing it at the level we're doing it are, are performing five to six times a week. I mean, our opener in Orlando, he said he performs every night. Yeah. In between, while I was on stage, he went and performed next to, I don't know if you know this, maybe you did, but like the very first show, Thursday night, I get done performing, I come back, we get back in the room at the same time, and he's like, hey, I missed it, how was it? And I was like, oh, it went well. I was like, what were you up to? He's like, oh, I just went and cut a cut an open mic uh, 
down the street. Grinding. That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I, I do not feel most at home on stage. It feels weird. I don't care how many times you do it. It's a strange right. thing. People I mean, are I watching s- you do your job. It definitely gets better. I I've, I've get less nervous, but it's still... There's moments. There's weird, random nights where you're nervous, but... Um, yeah, those you see that a lot in documentaries too. Just like I had kind of a rough upbringing, and the only thing that really brought me peace was performing. And now that's where I feel most at home. And it's like mm. I, I don't know. Have you ever sat in a lazy boy? <laughs> yeah, Call of Duty. Get, <laughs> I mean, just kind of block Get it out. Get an electric fireplace. It's not a lot of work. Mm-hmm. No maintenance. <laughs> it's so cozy. It's natural wood. Chop a tree down. <laughs> that's you're gonna relax. Wanna, you're gonna want to start or log. Uh, available Walmart. Yeah, start with the little twigs. That's the key. <laughs> that video was uploaded to YouTube nine years ago, so that's maybe no the way. style of the dresses. And uh-huh. uh, okay, so they were cutting edge for the they're, time. So these the people are twenty five now. Are they really? <laughs> wow. Are they? Or are you just guessing? That was in the TikTok comments. Was this is an old video? <clears throat> they're still married and happy. Great. So good for them. I heard she. Uh, I saw one of the comments. I heard she sang during labor. <laughs> so she kind of her big moments in life she just has songs prepared i actually i saw that tiktok you know what song it was right coming the- out <laughs> of me <laughs> i can't wait to see my new baby yeah! <laughs> it's a beautiful tune they, they never uploaded that the version i saw was the i think it's a 90s song it's like bum bum dun 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 Push it real good. Yeah. She was kind of doing that. And then she would like kind of in between, mm-hmm. um, you know, her pushes. Yeah. It was, a, bum, bum, uh, it was the example uh, they showed in our birthing class. Uh, uh, in the Lamaze Ooh. class. In between breaths. <laughs> Contraction. <laughs> we went to a birthing class. You did too. Good for you. What'd you learn? Two. You went to one? Jake goes to one every week. <laughs> Me and Trey did. Yeah, we went together. Uh, it was just the basics. It was helpful. They showed videos. Uh, just the basics. The basics. They're like, here's how it works. It was helpful. I, I, I've I, talked to a few other friends who did this. I heard we got a tasteful video. Thank God. <laughs> I heard some go to their like, here's here's just the full scope of what you're going to be looking at. I'm like, thank goodness they didn't show okay. me that. There's all the isn't that a psycho? I don't know, Derek. I don't know if Judge the Family Man. He probably was. He was probably in there. But I'm like, I'm gonna stay up top. I don't. I don't need to like. Did you pull up a chair so I can just kind of really? I don't want to see that. Yeah, I've been told. I'm. Mean, we're not even close to. We're not even married or close to having kids. And people still have warned me. Hey, stay up. Stay north of the north of the border or whatever they say. Stay up top of the equator. Whatever. Mm-hmm. So if I've already been encouraged not to visit my wife's. Basement, Mexico. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my wife's Tijuana, if you will. <laughs> yeah, just keep it. My wife's Baja Peninsula. <laughs> they all sound weird. Riviera Maya, <laughs> Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> right. Anyway, if I've already been encouraged not to visit my own wife's, make sure you stay in the resort, right? <laughs> <laughs> all inclusive. You know what I mean? Um, why would I want to see someone else's? Uh, uh, yeah, right. Like a stranger's. Gross. You stay up north, Derek? I stayed up north for the first one. The second one? Second one? A little bold. A little curious. <laughs> <laughs> life, life, we need a little excitement, man. First one, well, you know, I've been there, done that. Let's see what else. Second one, you're like, this could be the last time. The third one, I think I might uh, I might jump in some other lady's room. See. <laughs> so our video is pretty tasteful, too, in the class. Did you watch the one where uh, the, the lady's father was in the room? I don't... <laughs> Oh, like, like specifically, they're like this. He is. was the dad, and then like the husband was standing off to the side, and the dad was kind of like controlling everything. Really, it was wild. Yeah, that's weird. No, yeah. I haven't. No, seen you that. didn't see that one. I just remember yeah. in freshman year of high school, they made us watch some type of video. They're like, they, I oh, guess like, you're 14 yeah, now. Life. You need to yeah, see yeah. this. I'm like, Ooh, who's doing this soon? I guess some students were probably doing that soon, but it seems so <laughs> random who watched that video and who didn't. Like the the miracle of life video, because I didn't. I didn't. It was just yeah, like a funny did. bit where all the students were like, "Ew, gross!" Ha ha, giggle and. That was the that was the period that day, so it was fun. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen it. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, you, yeah, we'll have to watch sometime. <laughs> Get together sometime when Katie's couple here. Cold, have a couple cool blues. And... <laughs> well, uh, football's almost over. Hey, first Sunday after the Super Bowl. Let's get the boys together. Watch a miracle. Yes, <laughs> football season's finally over. Need some new content. 
It'd be fun to watch an NFL red zone for births. It just kind of goes, it's action packed. Hey, we're flipping over to the San Diego, uh, you know, medical center. We got a birth for you. You guys are going to love this. Oh, uh, oh, what's this? Oh, uh, St. Luke's and St. Louis is uh, in the red zone. Think, we're, yeah. <laughs> we're Thanks for my sponsor, DraftKings. We got uh, over under three hours this is going to take in the final stage. Yeah, it would be like red zone because, yeah, the whole thing could take hours. But we're just going to show you when people are scoring mm-hmm. and when the action is happening. Yeah. Yeah, so when they flip to it, you know something's about to happen. They're like, oh, what's going to happen? I know it's either an interception or a touchdown. I know it's either going to be a birth or a pass out. They're they're going to have it any minute now. Dad really has to go to the bathroom. Will he miss the birth of his child? (laughs) Yes or no? Or you've said you've been asked to take photos of this. Yeah, I got asked to do a birthing video. I guess there's like, that's an industry. Or I guess you're, can you imagine being a a doctor today? You're like, all right, you're allowed your, 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 your kind of, your spouse or partner here. And I guess the videographer and lighting crew would be like, could you move? We're trying. It's it's crowding. And like, sir, this is if you could, you're just kind of blocking the shot. We, got, we put a lav mic on her labia and that's um, <laughs> it's getting muffled. Yeah, could we could we take a tick, tick five? It's getting muffled. We got to check for sound. You got to get the balance right. Hold on. Hey, hold for sound. Hold, <laughs> hold the pregnancy. That lady next door is really screaming. Kind of <laughs> stepping on our sound. Hold for sound. And all right, go ahead and push. We're go good. Ahead push. Go ahead and push. The plane overhead. We Hold do on. another take. <laughs> Did you guys discuss like not allowing essential oils and stuff in the, in your hospital? Ours had a specific. Oh, they're like y'all stop bringing the yes. essential oils. Yeah. In here. Wow, that's funny. No, oh, sorry. the doctors tell you. Yeah. Like hey, really? no no diffusers <laughs> on birthday. We had to. It was the class was held like in the clinic, the where all the pregnancy appointments happened. So they had us wear masks. So we sat there and. We'll, had mask on mm-hmm. during it and the, they're like this sweet younger nurse kind of walked or whatever you know i don't know what the pa whatever uh doctor gal she watched all through it very nice and she's like all right any questions immediately some girl goes do i have to wear these freaking things when i give birth <laughs> patriot <laughs> yeah and i was like um no she's like thank god <laughs> it would just kind of i was like okay whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then you tell the sweet nurse like uh, uh yeah um sorry we're making you wear it so that was funny. I had okay. This is I feel like this is true in the Midwest. Obviously, it's going to differ based on where you're listening. But these days, it seems like if you see someone wearing a mask out and about, generally, it's like they have COVID or have like been exposed to it. And like that's the reason they're wearing it. It's like a one time thing or whatever. Like that's what I'm you would think seeing somewhere. It is what I heard. I heard it once saying that's like the the left's MAGA hat. It could, it's definitely a statement some piece. Some people, statement piece. Some people, but my, I do that too. I go benefit of the doubt. Maybe this person has three sick kids at home. They're doing their best here. Or like, you, yeah. you don't know. So that's fine. Like when I did the birthing class, I was like, gosh, I wear a mask. And I was like, well, there's a ton of vulnerable pregnant women coming in out of here. A lot of kids sick. A lot of people. So I was like, okay. Yeah. I, that makes, okay. I One of my flights this weekend, I sat had to sit in the middle and both people next to me had masks on. And I guess I I didn't really think like oh they're a staunch Democrat I was like both these people have COVID yeah <laughs> they definitely have COVID <laughs> <That's part of> <laughs> <that>. <laughs> and I'm sitting right in between them yeah it's like is this person making a statement of being overly cautious or they're yeah, flying they, to they full on have a disease yeah they're flying to Sarasota Florida I don't think this is a statement piece <laughs> I think they have COVID and yeah. they're just trying to be nice so that's a bummer yeah that's why when I have COVID I just get on the plane and I don't wear masks because I don't want to worry people yeah right that's good mm-hmm. yeah that's good yeah, jokes. <laughs> Ha ha. Ha ha. Jokes. Um, yeah, you got to get those photographers in there, though. Yeah, I said get no the, to that gig. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I sis- never got to the get point. the blogger pieces. My sister asked me to do. Oh, I, wow. I, I'd be like, I'm okay with like, that. Sis, come on. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's good to be at a spot that we we never got to a spot in our videography careers where we had to say yes to a birthing video, I think. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. probably good. Yeah, that's yeah. like the comedian's what? Like... I performed at a Cruise. funeral. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That. <laughs> I had to follow a funeral. 75 bucks. I don't know. I did. I had to do the, the ceremony and the burial. I had to do both. I will say there's trying to be a comedian. I out of that. There's got to be more so the videographer that that's the worst performance art, if you will, to come up on. Because like, if you're like, hey, you're a musician. Come sit in this corner at like a vine, uh, a vineyard where like, people well, are also doing something else. Yeah, they're not really paying attention. It's not going to be that fun. But I'll just do my thing. Versus like, uh, dude, we have this. We just have this event where like fifteen of us are like, uh, we're carving pumpkins, and we thought it'd be fun for our friends. Like, have a comedian come in our backyard, 
and we're raising money for our friend who's in a wheelchair. So are you down? And you're like, ah. you could do some jokes about the wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, okay, this isn't going to be that fun. <laughs> All right. You're totally right. Because I think it's just another thing, just on a very simple level. So many gigs, if you want to call them that, can be done at a wedding, which one, there's money in weddings, and two, they're never going to end. Comedy is not really a wedding thing. You have to search outside of where the money's at, where the consistency is at to like find a living. True. So shout out the struggling comedians, do your thing. And I, struggling influencers too. I made, I made some weird videos on weird places. <laughs> like, hey, make a, make a funny vine at this place. I'm like, dude, it's like, it's loud and uh, they're going to make a scene. <laughs> Speaking of the blogger stuff, we dude, we had, we had this idea. I, we, I mean, half half the probably half of the people listening are probably bloggers. We'd love to. That's kind of our key demographic. Love to make yeah. fun of those. Should we? We want to get more creative with the podcast this year. Uh, we should we do a segment on, like maybe each week we have on like a, a famous blogger. We just pick their brain, roast them. I would be fun. To, I I have a lot of questions for bloggers, right? And I think a lot of those answers would lead to some roasting, probably. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Because the the modern blogger, I'm already getting into the questions, but like it probably used to be like, yeah, you had like a Wix.com website, but are people reading blogs? They go into, I feel like now the bloggers are just a, it's an affiliate link on your Instagram Influencer. story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very few people I'm sure are writing like written copy. Oh, that just, sounds so boring. Man, who's reading anymore? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we might have to do that. I think it'd be fun. Uh, so let us know what you think comments all that yeah let us know your famous bloggers that you follow i know we we personally know a couple of them we could probably get oh, some yeah. on yeah let us know your faves in the comments uh let's get to some segments as we wrap up let's do a segment here been too long what triggered you this uh past week did you uh did you see my instagram story of the the store i was in in florida which yes Good. yes yes oh, i was hoping you didn't actually i was gonna read those um that triggered me if you guys didn't see it most of you probably didn't and that's okay but um we were just you know we're with rachel's mom rachel's grandma we're in a very old person touristy spot of florida so it's, it is the mecca for these types of phrases these types of goods and they're just the like life is better at the beach type um oh, like yeah. merchandise it is just it's everywhere and so i made an instagram story just comparing all of them so on, that on me. lake time you know, <laughs> yeah. stuff like that like, all right so here's just a few. Um, there's just, I don't know if it triggers, well, I don't know what it does to me. It's just shocking. It's like shocking that someone's coming up with this and it's shocking that apparently people are buying this. They're like, ooh, Tanya would love that. I got to get her a dish towel that says this. In my age, getting lucky means finding my car in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Dementia, right? <laughs> um, or this dish towel. Tell me which one you'd rather have. I get most of my exercise these days from shaking my head in disbelief. That one's so bad. <laughs> that one's so bad. Mm -hmm. Strong neck. <laughs> Re just thinking about that. Oh, that's so bad. Replace it's the dishwasher. <laughs> I'm doing good just to replace a hip. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to get this these. for Janice. I got a ton of replies, too, because so the last sentence I just said, just random words were capitalized. So my exercise were both capitalized <laughs> and then. The S and shaking, the head and head, the H and head, and then the D and disbelief were all capitalized. Is that like it was a like a YouTube title? Yeah, I don't know. So M E S H D, meshed, mm. meshed, meshed. Interesting. What kind of hidden code can that be? Meshed down there in Florida, meshed. The they they meshed the count up. <laughs> <laughs> the 2000 election yeah. with George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got some other dish towels. Buy your mom a bottle of wine. After all, you are, all caps, one of the reasons she drinks. Ah, that's it's, good. That's good. I don't really rise and shine. Most days I just caffeinate and hope for the best. <laughs> oh, I see what they did there. <laughs> when you're, per yeah, coffee. Ugh, I gotta have it. That's so me. Oh, I got a mug. I love coffee. <laughs> that's great, man. Couple other just real quick. Uh, this one got some squirrels on a branch on it. It's all fun and games until someone loses a nut. Anna Marie Island. Uh, what? I'm not sure I even understand what they're trying to. It doesn't. They're like, let's do it. Let's do an edgy one. Squirrels and nuts are funny. So yeah, when you lose a nut, winky face. What does that even mean? Anyway, it. If you're a squirrel, it makes it only makes sense if you are literally a squirrel. <laughs> 
Because if you're a human, for sure, that's not a relatable experience. Whether it's a bodily thing or an actual peanut, I mean, that's mm. not a. It's a bad T-shirt. The other one, which had a couple people reply and say, "I have this one," which is not good. <laughs> this oh, is a picture favorite. of a wiener dog. You know where this one's going? Crazy things happen when a wiener gets out. Anna Maria. <laughs> Just a, a nice little public indecency joke. Or... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like you said, they're like, let's get edgy and like, let us, our bread and butter's corny. We're struggling with the edgy. Maybe we could dial them up. We can help them out. Think of some other ones? I think so. I think we could do it. All right. Um, Let me think. Wiener dog. <laughs> Every <laughs> half the retired people in Florida probably have a wiener dog. So they are. There's a lot of small dogs. They're yeah. tracking with that. Old people love small dogs. There's a lot of yachts there. Something you could do with the yachts. Uh, these days, hold on. These days, rolling the dice isn't. It's. It, I, I roll the dice when I get on my yacht. See, I don't know. Yeah, there's something there. <laughs> something there with Yahtzee and a yacht seeing. Yacht yes. seeing. Yacht seeing. No, I agree. Five of a kind is when I so see five big boats. I call it yacht seeing bars. <laughs> Your turn. You want to <laughs> welcome to my beach house. You want to hang out with me and my wiener dog? There's no dog. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, something like that. That's more of a Jupiter, Florida. Sell it there. Um, there you go. Get that one. <laughs> uh, my triggered was this is a little specific. I had a chili cook off. Big cook. You guys know me. I like to cook. So I, I slaved over this chili. I got a smoker for my birthday. Really getting old here. Smoked a brisket. Mm. Fun activity. Smoking meats. <laughs> Ooh, that could put that could be on a Florida thing. Something about smoking meats. Okay. Smoking meats, smoking meats. I don't what's <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, of jewel pods. That's where I was going. But we had a chili cook off. I got second place and devastated. The Dang. guy the guy who won. I'm interested in your take on this. It was delicious. Tasted great. But he had, he had put an entire block of cream cheese in his chili. <laughs> to, to me, that felt... I didn't... There weren't, there weren't rules specifically laid out, but it felt like a little bit of a cheat code. I mean, who cream cheese on just about anything makes it better. Yeah, it's like, technically this isn't against the rules, but like you know you took kind of a shortcut. You know that you like aren't... You can't be as proud of this as I can be. It was delicious. Yeah. I don't know. I think anyone, any chili cook-off person would agree that's against the rules. That was a mini triggered, bigger triggered. We had a full cook-off event where everyone, it's like a friend event. So different people were bringing different things. I said, I said, we're going to start at this time. If you're going to be late, I thought this through. If you're going to be late, we'll bring something that's not time sensitive. You bring that's dessert. Smart. Yeah, bring yeah, yeah. Well, wouldn't you, who's the last to show up, Jake? Who's the last to show up and the, what were they bringing? The, the person with the bowl. Yeah! Did I nail it? Yes! Oh. I was furious. We had eight chilies and all that. <laughs> and we're like, I've blown this person up. Where are the bowls? <laughs> oh, I was livid. <laughs> Some dude, our, my friend showed up who said he was bringing the bowls. He's like, I didn't have time. So I texted this other friend to get it since he's not here yet. I'm like, yeah, yeah, the guy who's even later than you. <laughs> I don't understand it. So if you're going to a party and you're going to volunteer to bring something, yeah, think it through. If you're going to a New Year's Eve event and you're bringing... Yeah, the flutes for the champagne toast. Make sure you're there before midnight. You We're going to need those. You did the right thing. You tried to get ahead of it. I'm sorry that didn't work out. <clears throat> That's what made it even worse. Yeah, you tried to think through it. <laughs> the late guy gets the late thing. The late guy can bring the yeah. straws. We don't really need those. Right. Late guy, you bring napkins. I just use my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Dang, chili sounds good, it. though. That's fun that you did that. It's a fun tradition. It is a fun tradition. You got you to gotta have those when you get in your 30s, you know? Who was it that won? Uh, my buddy Zane. Ah. Yeah. I like you know Zane. Him, you met him. I like Zane a lot. He got creative. It's too bad he cheated, though. How yeah. has he done in previous chili cook-offs? This is his first one, so it's a big statement. Oh, wow. Yeah, he had the yeah, Brock yeah. Purdy of your chili cook-offs here. Yeah. No coming kidding. in. So I'm going to have to... There's also a debate of whether or not the girls should be allowed at the cook-off. We think their palates <laughs> might be skewing the voting. It had been a guy's <laughs> event. And mine was a very male chili you get what i'm saying I, so, yeah you know, i do yeah uh it was hearty man it was it was beefy and it's like a lot of ladies they don't they don't necessarily want a big old bowl of beef gosh that sounds good but doesn't it yeah i'm hungry let you try it sometime uh how long are we going hour and three hour and three three for tamar hamlin 
he's back. He is he's thriving. Dude, I saw... Uh, go Chiefs. Hey, go Chiefs. Big game this weekend. Yeah, big game this week. I think I'm going to go. Oh, nice. oh great. It's going to be cold. But for Christmas, Rachel got me heated insoles. So I'm excited to use them. Wait, what are these? I guess you just replace your insoles in your shoes with these, and you kind of run a wire up your leg, keep a little battery in your pocket. That's brilliant. I've never used them, but yeah. I, I don't have the best circulation. I, my feet are always cold. No matter how much I bundle up, my feet will be cold. Not Saturday, baby. That's actually, yeah, that's genius. I had heated gloves once. It was a game changer. Really? Yeah. A little battery in there. I'm very excited. I I'm might excited too. set the whole place ablaze. I might even be allowed to take these in, um, but I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, is it a fire hazard? You start, Maybe, I don't know. Does it keep you warm, though? Yeah, I'm very excited. You need chili at the tailgate? Or? Uh, if they make it with ground turkey, then yes. Are you tailgating through the whole thing? I I think if you want to get there to t- tailgate, you have to get there so early. I probably won't. I'll probably, like, I don't know, eat, like, a Chipotle burrito on the way at, like, you know. Oh, actually, no, it's after. Whatever. I don't know. The short answer, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do or not. I'm typically not a big tailgater, though. To me, it oh, seems really? like kind of more trouble than it's worth. And I can't even have the traditional tailgate. I can't have a hamburger or a hot dog. Mm. So it's not really worth it to me. Wow. Uh, nothing I love more than a tailgate. There is the work is can be tough, but you know, minor setup, a group effort. Just post up out there, throw the football. You're in the cold longer. It's yeah. just fun for some reason. If you're with like six or more, I think the tailgate could be worth it. I think it might just oh, be, that's true. be me and my buddy Isaac going. And well, yeah, that like... would be pretty lame. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never, there's this one time, uh, this is in college. I was with two of my good friends, and it was like an 11 a.m. kickoff college game. And we were um, the away team. So we were down in Norman, Oklahoma, at Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Bedlam's fun. And it's early, right? So people aren't really telling. It was like cold and rainy. So there weren't much. T- we went to one or two tailgates and it kind of devolved to us just like standing by behind my niece on Ultima, each with a beer in hand. <laughs> and this girl walked by and my buddy goes, hey, you want to come to our tailgate? <laughs> and of course, she just ignored us and kept walking. Was like, <laughs> our tailgate was standing by my Nissan, just killing time until the game started. <laughs> and you know what? We had a great time. Just standing there talking to people as they walk by. Sometimes you don't need the whole setup and the grill and this. Maybe you just sit next to your parked car with a cool blue Gatorade. And that's a tailgate. Hey, you going to the game? Same. You want to come pop by the tailgate? Gatorades. You need to hydrate. It's important this time. You come, you you know. Sweaty, we got lemon lime. COVID, right? It's not going away. <laughs> it reminds me of a, this very specific reference, but in the movie Dumb and Dumber, Harry's standing there pumping gas and woman drives up with skis on top of her car and he's like, starts off like, those are your skis? <laughs> She's like, yeah. He's like, both of them? <laughs> yeah. It's all great. It's like going up. It's like going to like uh, the bean in Chicago and being like, is this the bean? <laughs> Can you confirm it? This is the bean, right? Uh, so. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for, I'm sure, all the kind words about Katie. She's great. She's texting me. She's. She's thriving. No more update. I'll, be, I'll report back next week on the ins and outs of the details of good the amount of pukes, the length, the any other trajectory, mm-hmm. density. Right. Yeah. Thank you for that. You got a, you got a month or so until you're a dad. That's right. We got a lot of mood swings videos coming out soon. Check those out if you're a golf fan out there. Yep. And a big announcement next week. Like, subscribe. <laughs> See you next week. Thanks. Love y'all. Correct opinion.